Hello everyone, this is Merlin1977. Welcome to a new game, um, actually a new version of an older game, Planet Explorers. If you're not familiar with Planet Explorers, it's essentially an, an open world voxel based game. Um, that's an RPG and adventure game, sort of a combination. Uh, you basically can create um, any type of weapon in the game and you can use it in the game, sort of like uh, Minecraft. Um, and you can also uh, destroy the landscape. Um, so this is version uh, Alpha 0 0.75, it just uh, got released on Steam. Um, I actually had my eye on this game for uh, quite some time, uh, but um, you know, with every uh, with every alpha version, they basically uh, killed off all of the save games, so I, I held off on it. Um, so anyway, let's get started with this game. You get to see uh, what it looks like. We're gonna do the story mode, <clears throat> and uh, let's create a character. Let's go. Uh, let's go with a female character. Um, let's see. Let's see what these look like. There you go, that one's cute. Uh, let's see, hair. Anything longer? Let's see. That's longer. There we go, I like that. How about we go with that? But, let's see what color we can... The world itself is actually going to be green, so I, uh, I'm looking to sort of match something. How about a blonde? Can't even get to. It. Is that uh, is that kind of close enough to a blonde? I guess we can leave it there. That works. All right, that takes care of the hair, body. I guess they didn't Im implement these. Uh, so I guess we can just uh, stick with that. And, uh, I don't know. What shall we call her? And I, I, re I really don't want to use Marley 1977. <laughs> Let's go Amina. That works, right? Yep, alright. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time coming. As the first humans to ever venture out this far into the frontier, I cannot emphasize how proud I am to have made this journey with you, all of you. I look forward to us building a new home together. Let us make Boria into a shining beacon of the human civilization. Many rivers we had to cross, but we finally found our way. Separation complete. We are going for atmospheric entry burn in three, two, mark! Object approaching. Emergency evasion. Extensive courtside damage. Get out of here! All quarters! You got you in the ship! All quarters! Going down. I thought we were both goners. Never trust machinery made on Earth. <laughs> oh? I checked the locator. We should be somewhere on the southern hemisphere. Oh. Probably the Galileo continent. Here's a map. What are you up to this time? Not what we were expecting, huh? 
our first day on Maria, I think we hit something really hard coming down. Strange, though, since our radar system should have discovered any space fragment and avoided it. I wonder if my brother is all right. Oh? Did you not pay attention at all in colonization for class on the way over? Maria is the second planet orbiting the Epsilon in the star system. 11.83 light years away from Earth. It has 80% Earth mass, 26% oxygen atmosphere, and 83% surface water. <coughs> it's very similar to Earth. Well, before that planet became a gloomy, polluted mess. What are you up to this time? So I guess that's where the um, the voiceover stopped. So I got slammed hard when we crashed. Uh, there should be an emergency kit on the lifeboat, but I couldn't find it. Can you look around for it? Uh, I could use the herbal juice in there right now. It might be covered by dirt, so let me give you a wooden shovel script. Uh, yep. <laughs> yes, we did. Mobile PC, I'll explain you some. So that's basically, this is the mobile PC here. What is it now? <clears throat> basically teaches you um, about what the items are, how you control your character, the build mode, which I'll show you in a second, and the new scanner. And uh, let's go Don't find... Can we move now? Yeah, we can. Huh. Alright, emergency kit. I, uh, I want to load the knife. You right click on it. And the emergency kit is actually... Should be here. There we go. <clears throat> so, let's grab everything from here. Flashlight and resource. They actually uh, start you off with a thousand meat now, which is the game currency. You uh, basically buy and, and sell everything for the meat. So, uh, they, they didn't really do this before. I'm assuming uh, they, they implemented that in Alpha 07 too. Um, so for now, Herbal Juice Script, uh, Replicator, bring it to me. Yeah. So basically we'd have to start we'd have to start hard, uh, harvesting all of these plants. So you just walk up to it and right click on it. Uh, this knife, here, let me grab some more. <clears throat> You're gonna need pretty much every plant that you can get your hands on. Uh, and this is, by the way, Maria, which is the planet. And what's new in Alpha 075 is the new water shader, which I will show you in a second. This is uh, this is one of the bigger improvements in Alpha 075. Let's get out of here. The green on the uh, on my picture. The green is my health. The red, I think, is. Stamina and blue is oxygen. So, just wanted to see what it's got a huge vertical. Wow. Alright, herbal juice. Um, actually, no, I need. The, uh, they changed the buttons a little bit, I think. 
Wait, control. Um, just wanted to see some of the buttons here. Build mode. Why is re uh, Why is replicator menu? Kind of what I want. Uh, oh, we don't. We didn't get anything. I thought I had it. Oh, hey, you have to learn the script, right? Or is it? Ah, there we go. So if you right-click on it, you'll learn. The, you'll learn. You learn script. So these uh, wooden shovels and picks uh, are terrible. You don't even want those. We'll get better ones uh, when we meet up with. Uh, Chen, I think. Shovel script. Alright, revival shots are what you really want to get a lot of. Uh, basically, if you die, um, and as you can see, it doesn't even pause the game. So anytime you go on the menu, you're still live. So you can easily get attacked by an animal. Um, so you kind of have to be careful. So let me reorder that. Uh, these revival shots are, are basically if you die and you lose all of your health. Uh, this is how you, um, how you come back to life. You run out of those, see you later. So let's see what we need. We need, uh, we got one tulip. We have a lotus. What, we need a shade weed, which is a purple flower. So that uh, looks like it right here. So that pretty much covers the herbal juice. Uh, Yep. So these are pretty bad. All right, let's replicate uh, one herbal juice for her. All right, our uh, upper right hand corner. Let's pick up some more flowers. And we can also, uh, this is going to take a little while, but we're going to also uh, chop down a tree. We're not really going to come back here after after Gertie gets healthy. <coughs> um, so we might as well chop down a bunch of these trees. This, is, uh, this might take a while, but that's kind of what the game is. You kind of have to enjoy the atmosphere. So... Um, we're gonna need the we're, uh, well. I'm gonna need a lot of wood because uh, I'm probably gonna use a lot of the bows and arrows in this game. Um, I think once you meet up with Chen, you can get um, iron bows and copper bows. So I'm essentially gonna build that out. Um, I do like the fact that that the bows give you a ranged attack versus the knife attack which is pretty dangerous I mean the the animals around here are they'll, they'll kill you pretty easily so you're gonna need some kind of ranged weapon um, and since we don't have guns yet alright so I have 34 wood for that basically the longer it takes to to chop down um, a tree the the more wood you get so these will give you, these right here in front will give you, you know, 30, 40 wood. Um, but there are other ones that give you, you know, 80, 90, and 100. Uh, usually the ones uh, that are just coming out of the ground in, in a circular form. I don't think you can see them here. Yeah, they're not here. Uh, let me pick up this green thing. Uh, all right, let's let's go heal Gertie. Oops, wrong one. Can I help you? All right, so that uh, water for Gertie, which I think. All right, we don't need that. We have all that. Uh, we need a water pitcher, so let's drag that to our quick bar. Uh, so let's go get some water for Gertie. And 
I want to chop down one of these uh, cactus plants with the uh, leaf on top. This, um, I forgot what this gives you, but it's it, you're going to need it. You're going to need a bunch of it. So, give me one. Give me one second. Let me chop this down. Uh, I forgot which one gives you rubber. Uh, I think it's that over there. Those funky looking trees. Um, those, uh, oh, there we go. The, those big circular, right where, my, where, that, where that menu is. That big circular tree, if you've never tried chopping any one of those down, those give you a lot of wood. They give you, you know, 70, 80, 90, 100, wood so we're gonna need a lot of it for our bows and arrows but for now for now we're just gonna chop this down and go get water for Gertie and some of this stuff might be a little tedious to just sit and, uh, and watch me chop down trees so I'll, I'll try not to do a lot of it uh, you know if I have to resource gather I'll do it off camera, but I just wanted to kind of show you the beginning stages of this. Um, you know, obviously we have a cheap knife that you start out with, but as we progress through the game, you end up uh, with iron and copper axes and gold axes and diamonds and, um, and a lot of resources. So uh, it, it won't take this long to chop down trees, uh, but for now, it's, um, it's a little struggle. You just have to kind of sit around and chop down a lot of this stuff. But like I said, I'm going to need a lot of wood for our arrows. And um, generally for every piece of wood, you get four arrows. So I'm going to need at least 50 wood just so I can have 200 arrows. And then we can go hunt some of the, uh, the local fauna. Which we actually haven't really seen, have we? They're usually, uh, uh, they're usually around. Weird, okay. I got it. Well, um... Wow, this is taking forever, come on. Alright, we're almost there. This should give me... I forgot what this gives me, but I, I know that you need it. Alright, come on. Euphorbia, and puree, and resin. Nice. Alright, so let's get... Uh, let's get some water for Gertie. So, basically... Do that. Hit a 1. And let's get some water. Let me get a bunch of water. I don't know if I'll need more um, f for later for other other crafting. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a, a bunch of water here because once we move in into the mainland, um, here's the map. So basically, this is all the water here. But once we move up into this area, there's no more water. So unless you hit up a river, so. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna have a chance to um, to get more water. So let me let me get a little more. Let's get about 30 water, and uh, and then we'll head back to Gertie and heal her up. All right, that's good enough. Let me re-equip my knife. So I am gonna just basically stop off. Every, you know, whenever I see like a little plant or something, I'm just gonna stop and, and pick it up um, because. You are going to need a lot of these plants for different things, uh, especially for your revival shots. And so you might as well, if you're going in a certain direction, you might as well pick them up. 
doesn't really take that much time anyway. So you're gonna need it. Um, let's pick up one more Lotus and we'll head out. We'll head to Gertie. Tulip, sorry, not. All right, Gertie, here is your water. What is it now? Here's some water for you. Still not feeling too well, unless there's a doctor around. I don't know how long that will last. I saw a boat land a bit north of here. Someone has to be there. Sword and shield scripts. All right, so we got we got sword and shield scripts, but they're they're made of wood, which is really uh, just junk. And then They're, they're really just junky items. You don't even want those. So, uh, let's head up. Um, we're going to head up here and uh, get to Camp Carter. <clears throat> to get, to get uh, Dr. Carter for Gertie. And hopefully, before I... Uh, turn this video off I uh, I want to say at least one one uh, local animal hopefully all right let's keep going up I want to show you that big tree just in case you're, you're not familiar with the game and, and you've never seen the game I also want to uh, uh, by the way I'm playing this on maximum settings so this is pretty much the way the game is supposed to look. There we go. There's some local fauna. There's a there's a new plant which I'm gonna pick up. Maria sunflower. All right. Now the thing with the thing with these little stegosaurus. Come on. Uh, the thing with these little stegosaurus dinosaur-looking guys is once you hit them once, they run away. Uh, so they're very hard to kill with a knife. Um, basically what you'd really, ideally what you'd really want to do is to hit them in a direction where they go into the water and then they'll stop. Um, but other than that, once you hit them once, they're pretty much, and then you have to start chasing them. And that takes forever. Let me pick that up. So this is this is why I really want a ranged weapon for this stage. Um, these are non-aggro, by the way. Um, stand still, so I can kill you. This guy is such a pain to kill. Stand still. There we go. Finally killed it. Alright, so you basically get meat out of it, you just right click on it. Huh. Sorry, come on. Let's get around here. There we go, just get all the meat. So I basically got 18 meat out of it and one animal fat. Um, so here's the meat that you get throughout the game. So essentially this is used as currency like I said before. Uh, but we're gonna head up to Camp Carter, and I'll probably end the video. Come on. Where's Camp Carter? Uh, to my left. Left, this way. So we're just gonna head up <clears throat> this mountain. And we're gonna hit uh, Camp Carter and Dr. Carter. So these guys basically, I think they're the only animals that run away once you hit them. The rest of them start attacking you. Most of the time they start attacking you once you, uh, once you hit them once. Um, most of the time anyway. Oh, there's a new blue plant, which I will take. Alright, uh, that sound is... Oh no, those are aggro. Those guys right there, they'll they'll attack you as soon as you get within their range. So we're gonna just kind of stay away from them for now. And 
there is Camp Carter. So let me pick up a few more plants. I'll go talk to Dr. Carter. That's not a plant, huh? Okay. This is. And pick up some more of this stuff. Alright, let's go talk to Dr. Carter. I wonder if this, I wonder if this is gonna take long to cut. It's kinda small though, so it shouldn't take that long. Alright, so you basically have Dr. Carter here. There are a few NPCs that you're going to be talking to. And there are a bunch of NPCs that you can get to follow you uh, once you build your own base and your own camp. You get all of these um, miscellaneous characters to, uh, to come to your base. But for now, I'm not really seeing Dr. Carter, which is kind of odd. He's usually walking around. Maybe I haven't gotten into his range yet. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm going to need a bunch of wood here. So I want to at least have a little bit to kind of build out my arrows once I once I go to um, to get the bow. That gave me six. Uh, well, that's a rip off. All right, I don't want you. I want Dr. Carter. All right, let me get this plant out of the way. Uh, where the heck is Dr. Carter? There he goes. Boy, it's good to see you alive. What in the five hells happened? I heard a loud bang and down we went. Luckily for me, I was seated right next to a lifeboat. <laughs> Oh. What the? Did the shock regress your mind? Next time you forget your favorite doctor's name, I'm gonna smack you on the head. It's me, Alan Carter. Did you get hurt or something? Jen and Sly came down here with me. They're out looking for all the survivors, though. Should be back here shortly. Yeah? What? Little hook. Damn. Hold on, let me get my things and then we can go. Guard me against the animals on the way, though. I'm only a doctor. Um, I'm gonna end it here, actually. Just, um... Um, I will continue playing this game. Uh, if I need to, like I said, do a lot of resource gathering, I'll probably do it off camera. Uh, but not the first time around. I, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, and I might do it uh, occasionally, but not for too long. I don't want to waste uh, a lot of time on this video uh, with resource gathering. So anyway, uh, I'm early 1977. I hope you enjoy uh, what this game is. It's actually a very beautiful game. Um, wait until you see the actual creation of all of the objects, um, which I'll probably show you uh, in the next episode or so. So um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.